Hi and welcome to the eye contact email autoresponder area and this area is also I'm going to show you what you can do in eye contact as well as sending out broadcast emails to your to your list that you can build through this uh, tool called eye contact and also how to send out autoresponder messages for your back end systems and also how to create surveys or show you that area where you can create surveys so eye contact is a very simple to use tool and what you can do is you can actually become part of eye contact free of charge for 15 days you can trial it and the, the place where you need to go is www-icontact and I'll show you the web address where you need to go if we scroll up to here here's your web address here www-icontact.com and when you go there you can just uh, click enter and that will direct you through to the main eye contact website and that will show up here in a second so if we hit enter let's see if that uh, hang on one moment we'll get that to work <coughs> eyecontact.com enter and away we go so that will bring up the home page for eye contact okay so once you come to the home page the place where you can then sign up for a free trial account no credit card numbers or anything required is right here so you just put your first name last name email address phone number expected list you can just put one to a thousand if you don't have one or you could even say not sure um, desired login what that will be the name that you use when you log in and your password agree to the terms and conditions and click start my free trial and that will give you 15 days uh, free trial so you can go in there and have a dig around and see if it actually f works for you. Now, the beautiful thing about this is it gives you full access to all of the tools. The only restriction that it has is you only have um, access to 10 people that can subscribe to your, any, any one list that you have. So uh, that shouldn't be a problem, though. It gives you an idea and a feel for what it does. So I'm going to close this tab now and go across to what it looks like once you've logged in to eye contact and there's four main tabs there's my contacts create send and track and I'm going to show you how simple it is to just create a contact and uh, do some basic management within this area first things first though you may wish to be uh, familiar with the help button here that will enable you to type in questions and get support for any questions that you might have for eye contact but I believe that this is simpler than the other autoresponder programs out there on the mar in the market and I've tried all three and there are more I've tried get response I've also tried Aweber and I've tried um, constant contact which is more or less just a, a broadcasting platform where you broadcast emails out it's not so much uh, an autoresponder but it does allow for you to do uh, surveys but the thing with eye contact is, is it allows you to do the whole lot all from one platform and it's very simple to use so as we scroll through it's going to first of all say that your subscriber account you can have up to 10 I've upgraded mine to 500 which is I think $9.95 a month that gets you started this is just a test account to show you what it looks like and you can actually have statistics for uh, a, emails or autoresponders that you actually put into the system so it'll show you your last message statistics if you're blasting out messages to your list I haven't done a, I've been very active with these lists as of yet they're just for test purposes so you've got examples I've put three lists in here I've got synergy business system um, which I've added two people into magic mini sites which I added one as a test and two for my adam-price.com um, site and that shows you up if you've got more lists so you might have three websites or four websites you can have one autoresponder list for each one or you could have multiples if you wanted to but normally you only have one area where you capture uh, emails and their details and it goes into these lists and when they subscribe to your list so for example let me give you an example here if we go to my main page adam-price.com which is my uh, personal site I'll show you what happens so this page will load up and if we scroll down once it's loaded here oops get rid of that 
you have a sign up area where you can connect eye contact into a form so there's an area where I'll show you how to create these forms but you might have a graphic designer uh, my graphic design team did this the same team that actually creates graphics for uh, our clients they did this for me sign up for Adams Abundance Insights newsletter and you put your name your email phone number if they wish and their challenge in business or life and that will then link back into uh, this list here where AJP Taurus is set up. Now I need to change that to adamprice.com so I know what that is but for test purposes I've just left it as uh, as that address right there. So someone would enter that form enter their details into this form it would then be listed once they confirm their subscription as contact number three in here. So I can see what's going on. So once you Let's go into moving into My Contacts and showing you a little bit behind this tab here. What you can do in My Contacts is create lists. Uh, you can create a list or you can view lists. Now a list is basically the database behind your uh, autoresponders. Um, you can add a contact into uh, an autoresponder or a, a, a list that you have already. So you can import contacts you can add a contact one by one so you might have someone that you meet in a network mark in a networking so you can do a number of things you can add contacts in there one by one or you can cut and paste contacts so you might have someone who you've met in a networking situation uh, locally and you say to them would you like to be on my list rather than have to say to them we'll go to my web page sign up you might take their credit card their not their credit card their business card and add them into uh, the list so you can do it here manually you can search for your contacts so it's basically a first and foremost it's a contact system and a database that you can collect people's information and send them free information in, in exchange to build trust and to just stay in touch with people um, these last two you don't need to worry about as much segmenting a list doesn't need to be on the top of your list at the moment it is for advanced marketing so if we click across to create you can create messages in here so a message would be um, something that you just want to blast out to a list like a broadcast so you might want to do a newsletter for example this is the area here where you would create that autoresponders you can set up a list of what they call autoresponders so you might have a list you might have two or three lists you might have a list where you can send where you want to create some autoresponders after they subscribe so for example going back to my personal website once they become a subscriber to my newsletter they then receive what's called autoresponders in this autoresponder list I have about uh, 20 or 30 messages that go out once every uh, week or once every fortnight you don't want to bombard people with autoresponders but you want to have enough in your backup autoresponder list that will shoot them out over a period of a few months so that they can keep getting nice fresh content from you and you stay at the top of mind awareness for them from the autoresponder and it, as it collects their name and their their details you can insert their name and their details into these autoresponders with special fields that fill their name in automatically so that's very clever in that part and you could have a number of things that you might want to ask them so you know your business challenge you could use a, a field for example in the autoresponder saying hi um, it'd be first name so just say Joe signed up you could say hi Joe uh, I noticed that you subscribed to my newsletter three weeks ago now or you could have a date so I would call back if you wished or you could say I noticed you subscribed to my newsletter and your challenge was uh, blah 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 so it would link back into this field so it's very clever in the way you can connect with people and they think that it's you actually getting in touch with them personally so it's very clever you can also do surveys which I haven't done a lot with but you can create surveys and then send them out to your list to get feedback once you have a list built um, so this is something that's not in a normal uh, autoresponder service uh, Aweber I think has them um, a few others don't so it depends on what you're looking for but why not get them all under one banner um, that's what I think anyway and you've got your image library here in case you want to uh, create a newsletter and you want to put your photo or your signature that you've scanned in at the bottom of your newsletter or emails you can do it by loading them into here 
Then you've got the send tab, which is basically you can see what emails or messages you've sent out, autoresponders that have been sent and enabled. So once you create an autoresponder over here, you might create a list of 10 autoresponders. So you'd go create a new autoresponder, then you'd save it. Before it can actually function, uh, you need to go in and click on this button here and then click on the enable button and that enables it. But it's all very simple and see how it's uh, nice big icons with very easy to follow uh, instructions. It's, it's just very simple to learn how to use. Uh, you can also look at pending messages that might be in the queue waiting to go out from your autoresponders or a newsletter broadcast. So that would be in uh, pend under pending messages. So you can click on that and it will show you just for an example to show you what else is in here. So there's no, currently no messages pending. The final tab is track and track is where you can track your last messages, you can track um, emails that have been opened, links inside the emails that have been clicked on and I won't go into it here but you can learn about it fully with the help uh, videos that are part of eye contact and they also have training that you can take part of take part in and learn more about. So finally the final thing you need to know about is once you get a free account you'll need to upgrade after 15 days. So you click on the upgrade tab here and that will take you through to an area where you can just formalize your account. So you can choose as I've done 500 or if you've built a list very fast you can upgrade as you go along as your list grows. So you normally just say 995 a month, 500 kilobytes are free, which is standard. And then you scroll down to next, and you click next. I won't click it here, and it takes you through to the payment area where you can then uh, create your account. Uh, settings, you can go in here. This is another area when you first create your account to go through and ensure that all your settings and your user preferences are right. Um, so you can go in there and dig around and have a look. You can't really break anything in here, um, so I, I encourage you to, to go to i-contact.com and get an, a free account and play around with this and have fun and learn how to create a back-end system. And I'll have some other uh, details on in Step 3 in my Magic Mini Sites course for you to show you how to uh, create a list and grow that list and then, and then virally market it so that it spreads and grows exponentially over time. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, lesson and found it informative and I look forward to staying in touch with you in future lessons.